is the moment that stargazers here in the United States have waited for for nearly 20 years. The sun and the moon aligning this weekend for a rare eclipse that will look like a ring of fire. Just like Johnny Cash said, right? The best views will be from, Cal from California uh, and Texas, California to Texas, like that line sweeps across the United States there. The rest of the country will be able to watch only a partial eclipse, but you will have an opportunity to see it online, which we'll tell you about. Or you can wait till 2023, because then you'll get another opportunity. Our good friend Michio Kaku is here to explain all of this to us. So why, how come this eclipse has that ring of fire around it, unlike the others that we've seen? Well, this is a solar spectacular that you can talk to your grandkids about. Once every few decades, the moon goes in front of the sun, that's called a, a solar eclipse. However, the moon is farther away. Therefore, the disk of the moon does not cover the disk of the sun. It leaves a halo, the ring of fire, and it only happens once every few decades. And you know, I was reading this morning that the moon doesn't go in a perfect circle that's right. uh, around, and that's what causes it to be almost a, an oblong circle at one point, that's an right. oval, an one might say, and that puts it closer uh, and creates this incredible ring of fire. So what's the best way to, to look at it if you are close enough to see it and our friends in the West Coast? Well, for, for God's sake, do not look at this thing with a telescope. Uh, that's what Galileo did, and he burned out one eye as a consequence. Mm. The best way is either have dark sunglasses or a pinhole camera. Take two sheets of paper, punch a hole in one, and the image of the sun will then shine on the second sheet of paper, giving a very clear image of the ring of fire. So don't look at it with the naked eye, don't look at it with a telescope, look at it with dark glasses or a pinhole camera. You know, what, what can we learn about the moon and about the sun by, by watching this, by seeing this? Well, you begin to realize that we're part of a larger cosmic drama, that we spend all our time looking down on the earth and minding our own affairs. We very rarely look up. And then we begin to realize that we're part of a glorious universe, a universe that has splendors like this. And it's something that you can talk to your grandkids about uh, decades from now. Pretty cool. And you can also see it online, and I think we're going to put up exactly how you can do that. You can go to foxnews.com, and we'll tell you how to get there to watch it online. Thank you, mm -hmm. Michio. You have such a way of putting these things in such sort of poetic terms mm -hmm. and making us want to be part of it. So thank you very much for being yeah. here today. Class Class